on red. How does this all, all this uh, uh, good news or relatively good news with some question marks from the advanced economies uh, look from your point of view? As a matter of fact, we have been hit just earlier this morning with a piece of bad news, which is the resignation of the Prime Minister Hariri. Mr. Oglu was talking about it. And this will certainly adversely impact uh, the economy of Lebanon and the stability of Lebanon for several, for all kinds of reasons. But uh, when it comes to the Arab region and the, uh, the, MENA, uh, oil, the MENA region, we have the oil exporting and the oil importing countries. We have seen a sluggish growth, which is projected at 1.7% in 2017 by the IMF. And so certainly at the same time, we have stubborn budget deficits at the oil exporting countries, along with fiscal imp impotencies and high public indebtedness suffered by the MENA oil importing countries. Despite the projected rise, by the way, in these countries at 4.3%. However, these are only symptoms of profound structural socioeconomic challenges and contemporary macroeconomic adversities. Let me just take a minute by just uh, aligning uh, uh, or at least listing some of these challenges that we face in our part of the world, be it the MENA, all importing, all, all exporting countries. The structural socioeconomic challenges encompass, encompass lack of economic diversification and rentier economies fiscal inefficiencies and public finance unsoundness, unemployment and job market failures, weakness of the intra-regional economic integration and uniformity, insufficiency and insustain unsustainability of economic growth and development, retardation of the technological innovation as well as the knowledge economy and research and development, weakness in fin financial inclusion and financial capabilities and exposure to financial crime, compliance pressures, and malgovernance. So I think as for the, macro, for the contemporary macroeconomic adversities, they are mainly as well the outcomes of regional political and security unrests and conflicts accompanied by severe socioeconomic disturbances that are caused by massive population, population displacement in addition to socioeconomic and the resource price shocks in the case of oil prices. So this is where we live at. This is a country of Lebanon, and that we live, not only we have our own challenges as far as the uh, political, relatively political instability by having neighbors, two tough neighbors in, in our region, by having uh, uh, eight, one and a half million uh, Syrian refugees out of a population of 4 million. In addition to that, we have 500,000 refugees, uh, Iraqi, Palestinians, and others. So we have 2 million refugees in Lebanon over a population of little over 4 million. So given, I just wanted to give that backdrop to where we stand, what kind of, what kind of, what are we talking about? The challenges that we are. Later on in my intervention, I'll talk specifically about how the central bank was able, able to overcome these challenges, be within the country, within Lebanon, and in the in the region as well. Thanks. So, obviously, reasonably good performance in the advanced economies can't hurt, but it hasn't been anywhere close to a solution, especially since it remains accompanied by, among other things, low energy prices, etc. So still, still problems, and we'll come back to talk about the, the central bank. 